Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're going to take a look at a beer from Ohio. We're going to look at Fathead's Headhunter IPA. I've had this before. I've seen some people review it on YouTube and I'm finally getting the ball to review myself. 7.5% they say 87 IBU beer. I've had this a few times including uh, I think the first time I'd have been at the Great American Beer Festival. Uh, I've had some bottle shares as well and uh, it I'm a big fan of it, so I'm looking forward to reviewing it. It's definitely a West Coast style IPA coming out of the, the Midwest Great Lakes region out there. Uh, poured out, it's what I want to see in the IPA. It's not, not too dark, just a, a dark golden color, but um, just real light orange, if anything. Bright white head on it. Ooh, it's got a nice melange of hops going. Uh, a lot of citrus and, and tropical notes to it. It's got like a peachy mango, uh, slight bit of apricot, uh, like a ruby red grapefruit. Uh, it's got some nice zesty quality to it. A little bit of a uh, little bit of pininess, a little bit of dankness, but not too much. Yeah, it's, it smells like a great IPA. So let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice stuff. It, it, this is a pretty fresh bottle, thankfully, too. Up front, you hit with some bitterness. Uh, it tends to be more of that, that grapefruit, uh, bitter grapefruit zest mixed with a little bit of pine. A touch of that, that danky, resiny character, but not too much. Uh, lingering bitterness that kind of goes through a good chunk of the beer. Some nice sweeter orange, like tangerine notes, uh, a little bit more of that apricot and uh, peach notes come through on the, on the flavor midway. Uh, you lose a little bit more of the tropical character in the taste. Uh, you get a touch of like a, maybe a little bit of like a pineapple note in there, but uh, definitely more, uh, you know, slightly older school uh, American hops as far as on the, on the flavor. Uh, nice bready backbone to it. It's got a, a little bit of a, a malt sweetness to it. It, it. It's mostly though just base malt and uh, there's some uh, nice body to it as well. Nice creaminess. So they're adding a, possibly a few other malts in there to help out. Uh, bounces out the beer just a little bit in terms of the flavor in the back end as it dries out. It's got a really nice dry finish to it. Nice, Nicely attenuated beer. Uh, definitely hop forward, big time West Coast style IPA from Fatheads and uh, this Headhunter IPA, uh, this is an easy A for me. It's an excellent beer. Recommend uh, getting it if you can get it. If you're in the Midwest, hopefully you can get it. I, I know they're somewhere around the bouts of Cleveland and uh, or they have a brew pub. They have a couple locations apparently. I don't know what kind of distribution this gets, but uh, definitely worth checking out. It's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.